Hey y'all, so I'm Sinclair and I'm here to answer a question for what they're asking. This week the question is not so much a question but uh, a comment. Something I'm exploring is gender identity slash roles and dominance versus submission and the intersection thereof. Can you comment on your experience with that? Well, this is one of my favorite topics, probably. Um, I love theorizing about power, and I love theori theorizing about gender, and I think there are a lot of intersections between the two also, so that's uh, really exciting and fun. Um, I also, it's also, the two of those things are probably my most common and most enjoyed fetishes. So between the theory and the fetish, I spent a lot of time working on those topics. So my thoughts, my experience with that, are hard to boil down to a short video, but I'm going to tell you a couple things. First of all, gender identity and roles, um, are generally we're talking about masculine and feminine gender roles that are dictated by this culture. And we all know what those are. Um, we all know, we all grew up inside of them, regardless of how liberal and how amazing our parents were, and how many times they said, boys can wear dresses, girls can be president, you can play with worms if you want, you can go outside and get all scraped up and climb trees, you can play football if you're a girl, you can be really into cars, you can have this baby doll for your third birthday, sure. You know, regardless of how open our family was, we still um, observed, uh, absorb tons from the culture that dictates that men are one thing and women are the other thing. They are mutually exclusive, they're not the same, and there's not very much overlap. Uh, and in fact, if you do one thing that falls into one or the other category, you're going to be seen as a bitch, or a slut, or a fag, or a pussy, if you're a man trying to do something traditionally feminine. Um, these roles also completely dictate that men are dominant, masculine people are dominant, females, women, feminine people are submissive. So power roles within this culture based on a patriarchal structure that men are superior and in control, and women are inferior and subordinate. Um, so because of all of these tight uh, restrictions and fucked up rules, we have all sorts of um, fetishes that can come out of those intersections. So we have lots of femdom, we have men who are really into really dominant women, we have lots of um, submissive men who um, whose movement is still quite quiet and subtle, I would argue. You don't see images of that kind of thing very often at all, but very common and very, uh, I don't know, just fine, <laughs> um, completely reasonable. You also have lots of, um, of people who, who do actually fall into those roles of masculine dominance and female submission. Um, and it's, it can sometimes be really hard, <coughs> and sometimes it's really hard to tell if you are falling into those roles because that's what the culture dictates, or if you're falling into those roles because that's what you enjoy. So my own personal experience has to do with that. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't grow up a tomboy. I didn't come to a masculinity until uh, around college. I took some years off between high school and college, but I was about... 1920, when I started figuring that I really wanted to cut my hair off, and I really wanted to date girls, and I really wanted to be in charge when I was dating girls, and I even wanted to facilitate cathartic situations and emotional release through physical intensity and um, sensation. Um, and I spent a lot of years really struggling with the reconciliation of the uh, cultural assumptions that masculine folks are dominant and the craving that I had to be dominant and to um, learn those skills of domination and power. And, um, and really questioning, did, did I want to do this because I thought that, that was what a legitimate butch or a real butch would do or did I want to do this because I had some sort of craving some sort of tendency, some sort of orientation, that that's just how I was. Um, and I, I, you know, I've, um, it's, I think it's almost impossible to answer that question. Um, 
the only thing that I can do is keep working on my internalized misogyny, to keep working on my understandings of how the gender hierarchy works in this culture, to uh, be very open to explore exploration sexually in power situations with various genders, and to really think and be considerate and, um, and thoughtful and open to a variety of experiences and not get too terribly locked into one or the other. Um, I've tried submissive, being submissive, I still try being submissive very rarely, but occasionally. Um, I would say more, I, I bottom more than I'm submission, submissive, but I do receive, and I've, I'm, that's a constant thing that I'm personally working on, is how to receive and how to take in and how to be nourished. Um, and I uh, continue to think a lot about domination and power, the places that I occupy, the enthusiastic consent of my partners, the um, ways that I need reassurance and care, the ways that I will offer reassurance and care to the people that I am playing with and, um, and exploring these roles with. And it, it's really important to me to have deep conversations and to explore the intersections of these as much as possible. Uh, I'm, I'm fascinated by the psychology of power and of gender and so the, the biggest importance of reconciling those things, the, the gender roles and the power expectation, and especially coming from someone whose power expectation kind of lines up with the identity alignment of the culture, um, the, the best thing that I've been able to do is to just continue to talk about it, continue to think about it, try to think deeply, try to listen really hard. If someone ever calls me on something and says, hey, you're, you're doing this, you're reproducing something, and I don't think it's good, I listen, I try really hard to hear that, and um, and explore, just staying as open as possible. So I think that's what I have to say about uh, gender identity roles and domination versus submission, at least for now.